in this video i will show you another example of jenner diode clipper circuit here we have to draw the output waveform for this given clipper circuit in this circuit we are applying a sinusoidal voltage with positive maximum plus 20 negative maximum is at minus 20 volt this jenner diode has its jenner breakdown voltage vz which is equal to 6.2 volt we are taking the output across the load resistor rl of 1 kilo ohm to draw the output waveform at first i will indicate the regions for the Jenner diode to operate in the forward bias in Jenner breakdown region and in off state or non-conducting state in case of this applied input voltage. See this is the IV characteristics of Jenner diode. From the IV characteristics it is evident or it is obvious that as long as the applied forward voltage will be less than the built-in potential that means if I talk about this region, the Jenner diode will be in off state or it will not conduct any current. So if I apply forward voltage which is greater than the built-in potential, the Jenner diode will be in forward bias. If I look at the reverse bias region, you will see as long as the applied reverse voltage is less than the Jenner voltage, the Jenner diode will not be in conduction or it will be in off state. So from this point to this point our Jenner diode will be in non-conducting or in off state. See if our applied reverse voltage is greater than the Jenner voltage Vz, in that case the Jenner diode will operate in Jenner breakdown region or the Jenner diode will act as voltage regulator. So in case of Vi, I will indicate these three different regions. Consider the positive half cycle of the applied voltage. If I consider the positive half cycle, you will see this terminal will be positive and this terminal will be negative. So during positive half cycle, the applied voltage and its positive terminal will be connected with the N side and negative terminal will be connected with the P side of the Jenner diode. So the Jenner diode should be in reverse bias. But from the IV characteristics, we know that as long as the applied reverse voltage is less than Vz, the Jenner diode will not be in general breakdown region. So I can say that if Vi is greater than Vz or 6.2 volt, this Vi is acting as applied reverse voltage. Vi is greater than 6.2 volt, so Jenner diode will be operating into its general breakdown region. Let's say this is that 6.2 volt. This region will indicate Vi greater than 6.2 volt. So here Jenner diode will operate in the Jenner breakdown region or the Jenner diode will act as voltage regulator. Now see if I talk about this region of applied voltage or Vi is less than 6.2 volt. In that case the Jenner diode will be in reverse bias, but it will not operate in the Jenner breakdown region. So the Jenner diode will operate in non-conducting state or in off state. So here the Jenner diode will be in off state. Now consider the negative half cycle of the applied voltage. During negative half cycle, you will see this terminal will be at lower potential and this terminal will be at higher potential. So the positive terminal will be connected with the P side and negative terminal will be connected with the N side of the Jenner diode. Therefore, during negative half cycle, Jenner diode Z should be in forward bias. But from the IV characteristics, we know that as long as the applied forward voltage is less than the built-in potential of 0.7 volt, Jenner diode will not conduct any current. So let's say this is that minus 0.7 volt region or I am talking about this region. As long as the input voltage Vi will be greater than minus 0.7 volt, the Jenner diode will not be in forward bias. Therefore, it will not conduct any current. Therefore, Jenner diode will be in off state. So, from minus 0.7 to 6.2 volt will be the off state for Jenner diode. 
if the applied voltage vi becomes less than minus 0.7 volt the general diode will be in forward bias or in this region of the applied voltage general diode will be in forward bias so this is our three different regions of operation now see if i consider this case when vi is greater than 6.2 volt in that case the general diode will operate in the general breakdown region that means i am talking about this portion of the applied voltage when the general diode will be in general breakdown region that means general diode will act as voltage regulator so so if i replace this general diode with its corresponding equivalent circuit i will get a circuit like this see here from this point to this point our input is changing sinusoidally vi is sinusoidal as we have resistor in the circuit so the current in the circuit i will also be a sinusoidal current the output voltage in the circuit vo is equal to current in the circuit into the load resistor rl so output voltage will also be sinusoidal voltage for vi is greater than 6.2 volt now see if i consider the magnitude of applied input voltage vi is equal to plus 6.2 volt that means this terminal will be positive and this terminal will be negative this 6.2 volt will be opposed by this 6.2 volt therefore in that case at this point the current will be equal to zero this is 6.2 volt point so at this point the current will also be equal to zero and we know that vo will be sinusoidal now what will be the maximum value of output voltage see if i consider the maximum value of input voltage when vi is equal to plus 20 i can easily calculate the output voltage by applying kvl in the loop if i apply kvl in the loop keshov's voltage law i will get plus 20 minus 6.2 minus vo which is equal to zero this vo is the vo max positive maximum of the output voltage which will be equal to plus 13.8 volt so at this point our output voltage will be at its sinusoidal maximum value 13.8 and we know that output is changing sinusoidally so if i connect these three points i will get an waveform like this you will get the clear view of the output waveform in the simulation now consider this portion of the applied voltage when vi is between minus 0 0.7 to plus 6.2 volt in that case the general diode will be in non-conducting state or in off state in that case the general diode will be replaced by an open circuit if I replace the general diode with an open circuit, I will get a circuit like this. See, in this open circuit, the current I will be equal to zero. As the current I will be equal to zero, output voltage VO is equal to IRL. Current is equal to zero, so output voltage VO will also be equal to zero. In this region, output voltage VO will be equal to zero volt. See, from this point to this point, output will be zero. From this point to up to this point, output voltage will be equal to zero. From this point to this point, our output will be equal to zero. Now, consider this portion of the applied voltage. when vi is less than minus 0 0.7 volt in that case the general diode will be in forward bias as the general diode will be in forward bias we can replace the general diode with its constant voltage drop model or 0 0.7 volt source 
if I replace the generate diode with a 0.7 volt source, I will get a circuit like this. See, here we will get sinusoidal voltage from this point to this point. As we are applying sinusoidal voltage Vi, in this circuit we have the load resistor RL. According to Ohm's law, V is proportional to I. So sinusoidal voltage will create sinusoidal current. As V is equal to I R L, output voltage will also be sinusoidal for this region. Okay. Now see what will be the negative maximum value of output voltage. If the V I is in its negative maximum minus 20 volt. If I apply KVL in this loop, I will get negative maximum of the output voltage. VI is less than minus 0 0.7 volt, so our output voltage will be sinusoidal. If I apply KVL in this loop, I will get minus 20 plus 7 minus VO, which is equal to 0, which will give us VO is equal to minus 19.3 volt. Say this is minus 20 point, let's say. I will get minus 19.3 here. So our output will follow the sinusoidal waveform with its negative maximum and this will be our output voltage minus 19.3 volt. Initially there will be no current flow. After that output will follow the input voltage and maximum value of positive output will be around 13.8 volt. After that from this point to this point I will not get any current flow. From this point to up to this point I will get sinusoidal output and negative maximum will be minus 19.3 volt. This is the value of negative maximum. And this is the value of positive maximum. Okay, that's it. This is our circuit in the simulator. The red waveform will indicate the input and green waveform will indicate the output. If I run the simulation, I will get our input and output waveform respectively. Okay, see. Now let me analyze the input and output waveform. This red waveform is the input and the green waveform is the output. So it is evident that initially we will not get any output voltage. After that we will get output voltage and output voltage will change sinusoidally with the input voltage. Now let me see what is the maximum value of the output voltage. See when the input is closed to its maximum value 19.943 our output is around 13.75 volt see from this point to this point we will not get any output voltage in the negative half cycle our output is almost following the input voltage but the magnitude of the output voltage will be slightly lower than the magnitude of the input voltage and the difference will be equal to the built-in potential of the Jenner diode now see Around 19.92 volt, our output is at its negative maximum, which is around minus 19.307 volt. And the di this difference will be equal to the built-in potential of the diode. And the multi-stream simulator is assuming the built-in potential of the Jenner diode is around 0.63 volt. That's why the difference is like this. Okay.